Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another interesting video. Today I'm going to keep it short and simple. We're going to try to use my own Swiggy data to build a simple Power BI dashboard. Nothing like rocket science, very simple and quick dashboard. This Swiggy data I've already previously used and solved using SQL like some business questions. But today we're going to try to use a visualization tool like Power BI. Okay, so I'm going to go into new report. I'm going to get the data. There are two CSVs. One is called as item CSV that has the item data. Some of you might have seen this before. If you see, it's like the order ID, the name of the product and was it vegetarian or not. Okay, so this is one. So I'm going to click on transform data. Right, so this is one of the data and I'm going to add the other one, which is obviously the others. Okay, so if you see orders data, it contains like the order ID, the total money spent in the order, the name of the restaurant, also the uh, time of the order, like the date and stuff. And also whether it was raining or not, and then whether the uh, order was delivered or time or not, right? Very, very simple stuff. So I'm just going to bring both the data here, right? I'm not going to combine them, merge them or anything, just leave them as such, okay? So we have these two data sets. So let's take this, right? So I'll go to close and apply. Okay, so now I'll have like multiple data sources and it's loading, right? They're all getting connected to the model. Let's give it a few seconds. And there are no relationships that I've created as you see both the data is independent. So now if I go and see the table view, so I have items and I have orders, right? So we go to orders, I can see all the columns in orders and if I go to items, I can see all the columns in items, right? Now, if I were going to analyze my own data and what would I want to look at, I would build a simple dashboard, right? Let's do it step by step. So I'm going to go back to the report view. First of all, let's say we want to give it a heading or a title. So I can insert a text box, okay? And then I can just drag it, right? I can adjust it. Right, and I can say Swiggy dashboard, right? Nothing complicated. You can type Swiggy dashboard. Okay, I think the spelling is good. Uh, make the text as big as you can. Or maybe make it bold, right? Select the text and make it big, make it bold. If you want, center it. And then also you can come to FX and give it a color, right? Like Swiggy is orange, so maybe we can give that kind of color, right? So simply you can set up heading like this, right? Now let us see what we want to see. Let us see overall, I want to observe the total orders that I made, right? The total unique orders, right? And I want to just see this number, right? So I can go here and click on scorecard, okay? So now once I have the scorecard, I can just adjust and drag this, right, the size of this, make it as small as possible. And then within this, I want to count the unique order ID. So I'll go to the orders and then just click on order ID. And over here, I can count the unique order IDs, right, count distinct. I can also give it a name, right, rename it for this visual, unique orders, right, as simple as that. And just click here. And now you'll see, okay, the total unique orders I have made in this data is 95, right, very, very simple. Now, let us go back uh, to the data, right, uh, to the table view and let me see orders, okay. I have the restaurant name and I have the order total, right, like the revenue I've generated or the money I've spent. Now, let us say I want to see uh, restaurant names and the total revenue per restaurant because many restaurants I would have ordered multiple times, right. So, for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here and just, you know, I can select anything I want. Let's say I... I want to see it like a bar chart or something. So I can select this, right? And now I want to see it by restaurant name. Okay. And I want to see the sum of order total, right? I can rename this to total revenue or something. Right. And I can rename this to restaurant, right? just to make it more readable. So now we will see total revenue by restaurant, right? As you see, if I expand it, 
make it bigger and bigger we have all the restaurants and the revenue values right let us say i don't want to see every value i want to see only the top six or seven values we can put a filter right so come here total revenue is there right and then you can select whatever type of filter that you want right so for example filters on this visual if you want you can do basic filtering right like select specific restaurants that is all allowed now here i can put total revenue is let's say greater than a certain number right let's say i put 300 or something for instance and i apply the filter right now we're going to get mostly restaurants as you see with revenue over 300 right i can make this number even bigger like let's say 800 let's see and then we are left with few restaurants right so it looks like bowl company seems to be the highest then mansooks then mcdonald's then i've also ordered a lot from domino's pizza right so these options are possible also we could do top end right if you want to see only top end restaurants so i can say top end and say top six for example and what do i want by value i want by total revenue right so i can drag back this uh, sum of order total and apply this filter okay now i'll get only the top six restaurants by revenue right as you see it's bowl company mansooks mcdonald's and then you know few other restaurants right these are the top six restaurants in terms of revenue right so i can just adjust it keep keep it here right move it to the middle let us say then i go back to the data and with respect to items i want to see the item i have ordered the most right which is the most popular so i can you know count that order id or i can just let's say count the name of the item right there are multiple ways to do it so what i can do for instance i can go here and search for a table okay right so there are multiple ways to show it this is one quick way to do it right so i can select table and then from the items table i can select the name and i also i can drag the name for a second time but this time i want to count okay now if you notice here there's the name and then there's the count of the name right so if i want to see the highest value for instance what can i do right same way in the filter go to the count of name and you can you know select whatever value right it, let's say it's is greater than i don't know like i can put three or something and apply the filter and then i am left with only classic mac and cheese right that seems to be the highest right so this way you can showcase the one that is obviously the highest right so like this is the most popular product from my end and of course you know if you want you can change the names and stuff right you can rename this visual as popular item and uh, you can say order count or something right you can give any name that you want so you know we can leave it at that right so this is like the pop most popular item i have ordered classic and uh, classic mac and cheese and it seems like it's been ordered like around five times right so that is how you can you know select the most popular item now let's move further let's go back to the orders data let's see what else we want right? let's say uh, i want to see how many orders were on time right like just counting uh, how many times it was like on time so for that we can use i mean you can play around with the uh, charts here right so there is this kind of gauge chart that you can use so i can bring the gauge chart in here right I, let me place it in the middle and then over here i can add the data field so i can do the count of order time right so it looks like if i hover over this uh, the count is like 95 right uh, on time is what i wanted not the order time so i think i made a mistake so some of on time if you see it looks like 60 times it's been on time right the maximum value is like the total number of orders which is 95 so for maximum value i can track the count of distinct order id if i want right so i think it's selecting the count of distinct order id and you can rename this right total unique orders or something okay you 
can give it whatever name you want just play around right and here you can say total on time total deliveries on time okay uh, I think it didn't still change I'll rename it one more time total on time deliveries okay so once you write the name you can just click this and it will work so you can have like a small gauge like this right so it's like 60 out of the total 95 orders were on time right so this is done now what else do you want to see for instance i want to see i think there's a column vegetarian what is the count right so i can just insert uh, any normal visual like let's say i want to do like a bar chart I can keep it here i'll select is which and then I will just count the name right so there is something called two I think it should be zero or one but I think there's one or two values that is two uh, is which two maybe it means a desert or something I'm not sure which is a bit weird but you can do a simple chart like this and of course you can also rename this visual right total items um, and then you can say by food type or something right you can give whatever name you want right that's not the important thing so total items by food type so here i can clearly see like for instance the majority of the orders like total items in that 180 seem to be from food type one is veg equal to one which is like vegetarian food right obviously we order mainly vegetarian food i am like completely vegetarian but I think my brother's friends, they ordered through his account some non-veg items. That is why we also have is veg equal to zero, right? So this is also done. Now, what else can we look at? Let's say I want to look at the total revenue, right? But by year, right? Because I think if you go back to the data, there's 2022, 2021, 2019, 2018, 2017, like multiple years, right? So for this, we can also try to play with a different chart. Maybe let's insert a pie chart, right? So I'm going to bring this in here, right? Fairly simple. And what do I want to see here is uh, the total order total. So I can drag this here, right? Sum of order total. And then I want to see it by year, right? So for year, what I can do, I can go into order time, can go into date hierarchy and I can select the year, right? I can bring the year in here. So now I can see this by year, right? As simple as that. And this I can change it to total revenue, right? Total revenue by year, right? A simple pie chart. And I can see, for instance, 40% of the uh, revenue that I've given Swiggy or spent comes from 2021. And then also 2019 was a strong year, 26%. The other year, 2020 was low, maybe because of COVID. And obviously, 2018 was also quite low, right? 2022 also there was COVID so it's also slightly lower so 2021 and also 2019 right they seem to be the highest so this way you can see now the total revenue by year right so as a person right I want to know which restaurants I spent the most money I have this how many total unique orders I ordered I have this which is the most popular item I ordered that is also there uh, then veg non-veg distribution right that is there then it looks like 60 out of the 95 deliveries were on time and then I got the split up by year, which year I spent the most money, right? Nothing complicated, right? A few bar graphs, few gate charts, few column charts and a pie chart. That's it and a normal table with some filters, right? Your dashboard can be as simple as this. So I can go to view and if you want to change the colors, play around, you can also select, right? You can change it to something like this, right? Whatever fits for you, right? Of course, you can also adjust the sizes. Maybe if you don't want this color, I'll go back to the plain mode. Maybe this is too light, right? So you can decide, right, what you want. Because, uh, for instance, you want the Swiggy theme to be colored. I, you know, you can basically play around, right? So I'll just move this around. Uh, I'll just make this maybe slightly bigger. We can also adjust the size of this, right? And also make it bigger, right? All this is up to you, right? You have total revenue by year. Maybe you feel this is too light. You can go for something else as well right something like this right this is all completely up to you right you can move this up you can also expand all this 
right and uh, over here uh, go back to the effects and put your uh, color if you want right so I can select I can give FX right it's all depends on what you want okay so I'm just going to select a color which is close to that and just leave it as such right of course you can make it capital small right all that is fine this is a very simple dashboard anyone can use right any stakeholder very simple total revenue by restaurant by year uh, on time deliveries, uh, veg versus non veg, total orders, right? All the numbers are in there, most popular item. So that's it, right? Sometimes you don't need to over strain, over complicate it. Simple dashboards like this will do. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in another video. Till then, take care.